Welcome to Train Signal. You are watching Getting Started with vSphere Advanced Networking Training. This will be a short introductory lesson. We're going to start out, and first I'm going to tell you a little bit about me, your instructor, then a little bit about who should watch this course, and finally an overview of what we cover in this course. So with that short introduction, let's start the short lesson. First of all, hello, my name is Jason Nash and I'll be your instructor for this course. So a little bit about me and, you know, to answer that question of why should I listen to you? Well, simply vSphere networking is something I'm very passionate about. I've got 18 years of experience in IT, a lot of that in enterprise, and I'm kind of an older school network guy. I kind of, you know, went along that line between networking and servers and infrastructure almost my whole career. I kind of meander back and forth depending on the day as to which one I'm, I really focus on. So right, right now, these days, I'm the Data Center Solutions Principal for Vero. We are a VMware Cisco EMC major partner located in the southeast. I'm out, of, I'm out of the Carolinas here in Charlotte. And what I do is I work with customers on data center design and usually around infrastructure. So that's a lot of VMware, usually complex VMware environments, data center networking, data center switching, compute. I do a lot with Cisco UCS. I, I did the course for Train Signal, which, which I'm very proud of, and storage. So really anything in the data center walls. Being the data center solutions principal, my focus is on data center switching, routing, and VMware. I do play in the other areas, but those are my focus. I've done a, you know, a number of publications over the years, a lot of technical study guides. My first one was actually uh, MCSE Networking Essentials many years ago. I have did some on Windows NT 4.0, uh, Windows Server. Uh, I did some specific TCP IP books, a lot of things like that. did a Linux book, you know, just kind of OS and networking. I speak at a lot of different events. Uh, VMworld several times, so the last two years, I've spoken at VMworld on vSphere networking. I've done the Nexus 1000 V sessions. I did one on vSphere distributed switching last year. And I talk at user groups and other events all the time. So, you know, I do them on vSphere security, networking, what's new, product specific things, you name it. I'm usually at an event. So evangelization is one of my big focus points for my position at Vero. So you find me speaking at a lot of different events. On the right there is some contact information. I've got my blog, which is just jasonnash.com. Twitter is the Jason Nash, and it's not some big, you know, I don't need the in front of my name, but I wanted a Twitter ID with my name in it. The guy who has just Jason Nash, you know, hasn't tweeted in like eight months, but won't give the name up. I'm not bitter about that or anything. But I've got my LinkedIn information, and there's my email. So my email is jason.nash at gmail.com or jason at vero.com. And I'm always interested to hear. So if there's something you think that I miss in the course or you have a question or a suggestion or critique, by all means, reach out, shoot me an email, something like that. I'd love to hear from you, good, bad, indifferent, whatever. Especially, you know, I'd like to have revisions of this course as vSphere advances or as, you know, I get feedback from people that have gone through the course and say, well, that's great, but I thought you were a little light on this subject or, you know, I'd like to see you cover that. You know, I'd love to be able to build this course out more and more. A little bit more about me, um, simply education-wise, I've got a bachelor's in uh, internet working technology, which is a fancy word for routing and switching. I've got a minor in security administration with my bachelor's. My master's was in uh, information security from East Carolina. And I've got a number of certifications like any IT guy that's been in the business for a while. I'm very proud. I'm, I'm VMware certified design expert number 49, VCDX number 49. There's not many of us around. so. That's, you know, that's kind of my crown jewel right there. VCP5, VCAP DCD. I've had Cisco certifications for many years. Like I said, I'm kind of an old school network guy. Uh, Security-wise, again, I'm a CISSP, so you can kind of see that I, I have my feet in several different areas, but those are the things that I enjoy. I've done other train signal training courses. I did the vSphere security design uh, in partnership with Lane Laverett. We did that one together. And then I uh, just finished the implementing Cisco Unified Computing System, which is, you know, basically Cisco's blade infrastructure. I did the implementation course for that, which is a very good course. And as a plug, a very good blade infrastructure. So who should watch this course? Well, I think everybody should watch it. But really, it's anyone who wants to learn more about vSphere networking. Well, that's standard, seeing as this is an advanced vSphere networking course. 
Anyone looking to implement support or manage advanced networking features for themselves or their clients, you know, anything like that. It's if you're starting to expand out and doing more and more on the vSphere networking side, security wise, or more complex configurations, or you're getting much denser in your consolidation, you know, you're up in the 50 to 1 consolidation range, and things like I.O. is becoming a serious issue, then we normally won't, you know, want to look at some of the advanced features, and that's who this course is for. Experience wise, well, Standard vSphere administration, implementation, and management is, is going to be helpful. We're in vCenter a lot. We're in vSphere a lot. I kind of glossed over the basics and assume you know how to get around the VI client and all that. General network administration, yeah, you know, we go over VLANs. We don't go over addressing. If, if you can get a server on the network, you understand what a VLAN is, you understand what an IP address is, things like that, then, then you're good for this course. We cover a lot of different things, so we'll start talking about recommendations for a lab environment. I'm a huge proponent of having a lab environment, even if it's one at home like I've got that I actually use to help build this course, or something that your office, or you know, as a test dev for your data center, whatever, I'm a huge proponent of that. We'll talk and do a review and primer on vSphere networking, just kind of make sure we're all using the same terminology. Then we get into things like implementing and using VLANs and private VLANs, which are something that I think are underused, especially in sec more secure environments like a DMZ. So we'll go through that, demos, show you how to implement and use those. Then network security considerations with vSphere. Uh, again, security is one of those things near and dear to my heart. So we don't get, you know, we don't go too crazy on security, but I want you to understand the vShield suite, how it integrates, what that means for your network configuration and network design and how you can use some of these really good features to get what I consider to be better than physical security in a virtual environment. Next is recommended network topologies. This is something I talk about with customers all the time. Just some kind of things that I recommend, things that I see, common questions that I get. Then how to physically connect your vSphere hosts. Again, very common questions. Which hashing algorithm? How many NICs? What should I connect these to? What do I do for the physical side on the connection? We'll go over all of that. In-depth configuration of the vSphere distributed switch. So if you have Enterprise Plus or your customers do and you're looking at enabling that VDS, we go through more in-depth discussion on that, especially around the advanced features, around, you know, QoS, around some of the other security options. And really that kind of dovetails into the how to use traffic shaping and resource pools, which require, I should say, the VDS. So again, we'll look at network I.O. control and shares and, you know, egress and ingress rate limiting. Finally, troubleshooting management and recommended tools, general things to look out for, general management processes, some tools that I like to use or things you might want to use in production or in a lab, just some general guidelines to go by. So with that, that wraps up this quick, I told you it was going to be quick, quick first uh, lesson and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one.